So, just another quick video about the pitfalls in all your configurations in Virtual DJ 2021 and basically most other Virtual DJs. Um, I've already done this kind of video before where I go through all the options for configurations in different scenarios, but this is a, a bit flipped. So, it's based on all the questions, all the problems people have with, uh, with separate issues. Uh, so, this is when you have an issue, not when you want to learn, basically. So, of course, there are a lot of configuration options because there are a lot of configurations possible. So let's go through some of the most common problems that people bump into. Um, so basically, what are the pitfalls? Well, there are some uh, different ways uh, you can use Virtual DJ, of course. And maybe the first one uh, you try is using just the laptop. So where did you set up audio configuration when you do that in the settings? So here are the settings. And uh, the audio configurations is the second pane over here. And right now, it's set as computer audio. So you have a master output, and that just uses the computer laptop, and that's it. So uh, the first question I then often see is, well, that's all good and fine, but how do I cue? How do I listen in my headphones? I need to know what tr track to play next. Well, to do that, you need two outputs, naturally, because otherwise you'll only have one source, you will only have one thing that can go out. So when you haven't bought anything, when you only have whatever is in your laptop, for most laptops there will just be one single uh, stereo output, then you can't do that out of the box. Okay, uh, but what about splitter cable? I've heard spl about a splitter cable, so I can uh, do it anyway, even though I don't only have the laptop. That is very true. You can, uh, you can do stereo to mono splitter. And it also switches, like you can see, to speaker plus headphones. And so people go into that, and then the next question I get is, uh, that doesn't work. Uh, I, uh, I, I, that doesn't, I just get the same output in both. Why is that? Well, that's because you got the wrong cable. It has to be a splitter cable. It has to be a DJ splitter cable. It has to separate it into two times mono. It, it's not just a replicator cable that plays everything out through both of the, the, the splits, if you will. So if, if you have an old cable from when you're young and you and your friend wanted to listen to the same, to the same output from maybe a, an old uh, MP3 uh, player, uh, that won't work. You need a specific uh, DJ splitter cable, and I'll, I'll link to that in one of those in, in the description. So that's a very common issue I see, that people are simply trying this, but using the, uh, the wrong cable. And also, of course, remember, you only have two outputs, one stereo output with two outputs in it, so it will be mono. Um, then the next thing I sometimes see is, well, uh, I don't understand why I, I have to turn, uh, turn up the, the mix button uh, for it to work. Uh, well, that's it, when you accidentally enabled stereo to mono splitter, but that's not what you want to do. You're just taking out uh, uh, your regular, uh, the regular uh, output. So what you're actually doing is you're send, trying to send something to to uh, to pho phono out, but you're not having phono out. You're only having uh, the master. So uh, then you f you feel the need to go. Well, if I apply this, then you feel the need to go set this to twelve o'clock for it to work. Well, that's not true. That's because you're mixing in your your headphones out into the master out to get both channels. And that's just because you have the wrong configuration. If you're in that, in that simple configuration, you need to go back to computer audio, speaker only here, and you only have one master output. Then, first of all, this button will disappear, and you won't need it because there is no headphones out. So as you can see now, it's not in use anymore. So that's another error I sometimes see. So uh, so that's the, uh, the, the computer setup with the... Uh, Stereo to mono option. The next one I then see is uh, is that uh, well, I'm actually using a, 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 a controller, uh, and it used to work, but now it doesn't work anymore. And what doesn't work differs, but a, a regular controller setup will look like this: you have master out, you have headphones out, and your controller is handling uh, the two outputs, it's two stereo outputs, one master, one headphones. And everything usually just works. And then uh, I see these images say, well, my, uh, my headphones all of a sudden stop, stop working. 
that's normally because you've been in here and tried to mess with it a little bit because at some point you didn't have your controller and you still wanted to, to use Virtual DJ or maybe set up some tracks, prepare tracks. That's all well and good. But if you end up in a situation where you only had one output because you only had master, but it's, it's now for some reason your controller, then you end up in this situation. And then of course you, you don't have the headphones out anymore. You need the headphone line to have the headphone out. So that's an, another problem that I sometimes see people bump into. Um, and the next one I very often see is why uh, everything's working and the mic is working, but the mic is not part of my broadcast or the mic is not part of my recording. Why is that? Well, if you go back to the regular setup here, so I have master and headphones, you see that's just outputs. I don't have any inputs. Those will be down here. You can see those if I click the then on 7000 over here, another control. So that actually has input for recording. And that will include uh, the mic if you set it up correctly. But if you're in something like a DDJ SR, there's no input because it's sending the mic input directly to master out. So you can't record it. To record that, you need to set up something, maybe in here and record, maybe in another program, where you uh, send everything back to the laptop somehow maybe using an input it has, it also has, maybe using a secondary, a secondary sound card, but out of the box, you can't record or broadcast a microphone, uh, your microphone input in, on a controller like the DTJ SR. So that's also a very common question, I see. So what you need to look for when you're in here and you click the default setup for your controller, like this one, if it doesn't have any input, it's a good indicator that you can't out of the box record uh, your mic or record everything with your mic in it. So the next thing maybe to discuss is uh, separate decks, just quickly because that's actually a more complicated thing, so I'll just go into it quickly. What is separate decks? Well, separate decks like this, you can do it for instance on this, uh, on this Pioneer TTJ uh, SR. Uh, I could send four decks, or maybe more commonly on the on the seven thousand. I could go in, go into separate decks, so it sends four decks out. So what is this? Well, that's for when you want to mix somewhere else, and for some of the more complicated um, controller, that's your only option. They're made to be mixed somewhere else, so they're hardware based. So somewhere else being inside the controller, but outside of virtual DJ. So. It can either be inside the controller, but not in the software. So why would you want to do that? Well, if you have a, a, a complex setup where you also have CDJs and stuff like that, um, to, to come into it, you need uh, your, your, your mixing to be hardware-based. You can't mix inside the software because it won't know about the CDJs or whatever else input you have. But that gets pretty complicated pretty quick because then uh, what happens about effects? I have software effects in here. I have hardware effects on my controller, or maybe even in my DJ mixer. You could use this for for sending to a DJ mixer too. Uh, so how does that work? Well, it's a mix and match, so I need to figure that out. Um, also, what happens with uh, with my master stuff? Why doesn't my master work anymore? What, why doesn't my master effect work anymore? What about my crossfader? Well, all of that is pretty much out the window. Why? Because you're not mixing inside Virtual DJ. So when you're on separate decks, especially if it's a an external mixer, like a regular DJ mixer, uh, you need to know what you're doing because stuff can happen happen in a lot of different places and some, some stuff won't happen at all. At all. Same about, uh, about headphones. There's no headphones here. Why? Because the mixing is done uh, outside of virtual DJ, so the, the headphone queuing will also need to be done outside of virtual DJ. And the one thing to remember, finally, is that uh, that it's not uncommon to have multiple of these setups. So I go between those all the time. For instance, if I, uh, if I use my TDSR here, I also maybe use my Focusrite because then I can add a microphone because it's a regular sound card. So I can combine those two. If I'm then just using my laptop, then I switch it back to uh, disable this one and switch it back to, uh, to the laptop one. And I might go into to this one, the SR if I'm using that, or the 7000. And I might add, uh, disable this and I might change bits and pieces, but you can always store whatever uh, changes you make. And these are natural. You need to change this stuff uh, every time you use a new, uh, new controller or new hardware with the program because, well, they're different. But luckily, you can save all these. 
And then you can just recall them when needed. So for instance, this will be the 7000. I already selected that one. And this will maybe be a NTJSP, uh, which is currently not connected. So I'll get an arrow if I try to apply it. But you get the picture. You can store these by using the Save button. So you can quickly recall them. Scarlet 1.4. Uh, so, so you can quickly record them when you change your setup. And that's completely normal. Yeah, you need to go in here and, uh, and change things when you change your hardware. So that was just a bit about uh, the common pitfalls when working with, with, uh, with, with the audio config configuration uh, in primarily uh, when using controllers or just your laptop.